Hmm, what's this? Hello, welcome back to The Freak Show. Bumpy McSquiggums here. I want to thank you all for joining me as I continue with my Let's Play of Disgaea 2 PC. In this episode, I promised you all I was going to recruit some uh, new folks. I had to go make sure I had the list updated as much as I could. And there were actually a few that never showed up in my notifications list of uh, stuff. So, glad I went back and checked. And I may have still missed some guys and gals. I do apologize. But again, this isn't going to be the full roster right now. There's still plenty of people that signed up that I don't have characters for yet. So if you haven't found your name yet, that's okay. It will still happen, more than likely. Alright, we're going to go into the assembly. I don't know what I want to do. I, I suppose Adele could probably pull in a sinner. I had two folks that wanted to be a sinner. Um, I'm going to go with the first person that asked. I hope like, it's the first person I found that asked, so I apologize if it's not actually the first person. But for the center, we're going to go ahead and we're going to bring out an average center, which is going to cost us 6 mana, which is fine. And we are going to name you a good sir. We are going to name you Frostbite. Alright, F-R-O, Stbite. That's right, F R O S T B I T E. And I believe it's B Y T E. B Y. <laughs> yes. So that I have Frost By up there. Hopefully that's not a, a your actual name, and I'm gonna completely ruin it here. I could have sworn it was Frost Bite, but I apparently typed in my list incorrectly, so we'll assume that I did that right or wrong or something. I don't know. Anyway, there you are. Let's see. Well, we know speed and attack are your go-to maneuvers, so let's get you some points up in that. And yeah, I like that. I think that's fine. How about we drop one of the speed points? We'll give you one more attack. How about that? There it is. The center out of the darkness. All right. We will say done. And it is completed. All right. What do we need now? We need a few things still, actually. Alright, so I think what we're going to do is go to Lady Overkill, maybe. And you're going to be like absurdly high expensive. No? No, you're not, huh. I only killed two of them. Does this still lower itself? Based on how many we have actually killed, or is it once you unlock the character, it's just unlocked? Is that how it works? No, I, don't, I don't know. I mean, one mana... Seems to be... I'm going to go with it. I'm going to go with it, and you wanted to be a Sarah. Well, that's how I'm going to pronounce the name. If it's Sarah, I apologize. We'll say Sarah, though, because it just... I don't know. It works for me, so we're going to go with a Sarah. I have no idea what, what... What are you? Hold on. Do I know anything about these things? Hold on, I should probably read what they do first. A magical spirit from the forest, resistant to magic attacks... Obviously can't use any weapons. Um, attack, resistances, int, hit. I don't know. I have no idea what you're going to actually be good at. So my apologies if I completely butcher this character. I don't know. It don't tell me what you're going to be good at. So, you know, that whole scenario. Um, I'd say, yeah, probably a point or two into it. How about one point into attack? And then maybe one point into hit? Two points into hit? Maybe one into int? I don't know. We'll go with that. We'll give it a shot. Magical spirit from the forest resistant to magical attacks. There's no aptitude and there's no weapon mastery, which is fine. All right, and there we go. We have another person. You have the green needle skill. Interestingly enough. All right, I still have yet to unlock the archer class. Um, let's see here. Um, I'm going to say Dwan, I guess you're going to be, maybe, maybe, we might have to wait on this character. I think we're probably going to have to wait until we get 60 mana, so not quite yet, we'll get that one soon. Uh, let's see, what else do we have? Uh, somebody wanted to be a Magic Knight, I can get behind that. Let's go with, a uh, Harry Tom, pulling in a Magic Knight, we'll go ahead and create... The busty lass or lady or whatever it was, busty warrior. 
And we have ourselves a Magic Knight. We're going to go ahead and average you up. And Cash Key wanted to be a gunner originally, but you also gave me some options for other things. So for now, and since we don't have a gunner yet, I'm going to go with this one for Kashiru. And then maybe down the line, if nobody else had gunner listed, I don't see that yet. Though there are a lot of people that say anything. So you may not get in with your main name. Hopefully you're cool with that. If you are, fantastic. If you're not, deal with it. It's fine. All right. Kashiru. Oops, I hit the wrong button. No, no, that's not... <sighs> Alright, it's fine. Uh... There we go. It's all done. It's wonderful. It's sweet, sweet, nice style. Probably going to treat you like a knight as opposed to a magician or a magical individual. So hopefully you're cool with that. Because that's pretty much what I'm going to do. Do we get to choose, or...? Oh, apparently... What is? What do these do? Regular attack followed up with an ice attack. Oh, we get to choose which one we wanted. Maybe. I, I don't know. Okay, so that's that. There was still a couple more that I wanted to throw into the mix. I want to get a printy out there. Somebody did actually request a printy, and I totally missed it, so I'm glad I went back and I looked. And we're going to get ourselves, um, I think Izzel is going to be the leader of the printy here. So we're going to go ahead and throw a printy into the mix. It's going to be an average skilled printy, and it's going to be Captain Crunch. So Captain Crunch the printy is going to be here, and it's actually Captain Crunch as opposed to Cap'n Crunch. So hopefully you guys are all okay with that. I know it's not canon, but it's okay. Capitan... Eh, space. I don't know if we have enough room for this. We might have to shorten the name. Maybe not. Eh, maybe not. Captain Crunch. It fit! It's perfect. Alright, we're a printy. Of course we want attack. That's how we roll. We cut fools with our knives. Ready, dude? Yeah. Alright, so we have a printy now. We're feeling pretty good about that. Let's see, what else do I have on the list? The list? The list. I, well, I need, um... What do I have left? Let's just take a look at the actual characters here. Uh, I guess that's really it. That's it, I mean, short of getting the old man floaty dude, who I do have an idea for, I want to get that on one of our mages, so... That's gonna be that. So, there... Well, you know... Isn't Syringe? Yeah, you know what? We can probably get you on Syringe. That's going to be okay. All right, that's going to be just fine. There we go. And we're going to have an averaged individual here. And it is going to be... Wait for it. Wait for it. It's going to be Patches, ladies and gentlemen. This is Patches. Oh, Hulahan here. Let's see. Patches. And bam, there he is. I'm going to assume Int, maybe Resistance, maybe he's a healer, I don't really know. That's going to be the, the deal. Oh, he's got Star Magic. Interesting. And he can do Geo Change, and he's immune to Geo Things. What was his uh, aptitude? He was best with a stave, or a staff, as it were. Alright, that's cool. Alright, so our roster has been filled out quite a bit. I'm sure there's still folks that aren't in. In fact, I know there aren't. There's at least five to ten people that aren't. There's some that are just like, hey, I'll go with anything, which is cool. And there's a few folks that want specific things. So I'll try to get the specific things for the people that, you know, it, it's fine. Alright, let's go ahead and throw a heal out on all of our crew. Uh, we don't have a lot of extra equipment laying around, though, which is a, kind of a problem. In fact, we have no extra equipment because we used it all. Um, we need to get weapons for the, the folks, at least. If nothing else, we need to do that. So let's see if we can't buy some simplistic stuff. Like maybe... Or we can just go spend all of our money right away and call it a day. Kinda wanna go that route. The Father's Fist looks amazing. I'm not angry. I'm just upset. Now come here. Uh, maybe we go with the boxing gloves... Yeah, I think we're going to have to. 
That's not really my my ideal situation. I think the Lady Knight could use swords, maybe. I want to say. Um, we need a staff. We need a staff. And a goblin claw would be good too. Well, I guess we're not going to use this staff user. All right. So the most important thing for all weapons or for all characters is the weapon to start with. All right, we have 30 attack and 12 hit. Boxing glove gives us 38 attack and 38. Or sorry, not hit, but speed. So it's only a minor upgrade, but still, it's an upgrade, and we'll take it. All right, and we're gonna put this weapon on you. Then we're gonna go to Kashiru and give you the dragon blade, which I hope you are actually good with. Don't know for certain. We're gonna hope. And then what else? Um, well, we have Captain Crunch. I think Captain Crunch is gonna take priority over you right now, Sarah. I apologize for that. I hope you can forgive me, but we're gonna go with the Goblin Claw here, in hopes that that's gonna be okay. We're all pretty light on actual HP right now, which is a bit sad, but it might be okay. Go ahead and we oh, we can't actually heal all. So what are we going to do now? We're going to select where we want to go. We're going to go to, I guess, Dallas River again. We'll go to the next deal. And we'll try to get through another area and see how that goes. Oh, they aren't here either. What is it, princess? Can you go ask Adele about his real parents? Interesting. Why must you put me on such a dangerous mission when you could ask him yourself? <laughs> it is a hard thing to ask. He did say that his real parents abandoned him. If it is so hard to ask him, what makes you think it would be better coming from me? Very well. I won't ask you to do anything you don't want to do. So, I order you to ask him. That's awesome. That is awesome. Okay, I will do it. How hard can it be to ask? Huh. Well, this will be interesting, or terrible, depending. Monsieur Adele, can you tell me anything more about your artless parents who abandoned No, you? that's not the way to ask. Tink, I'll kill you. What? That was sudden. Yeah, it was. Oh, but I am curious, huh? Please, tell me. Well, I don't really know much myself. I was too young to remember them. All I know is, they were close friends with Mom and Dad. And they left me with them when I was two years old. All they left for me was a letter that said, We will return as soon as we have fulfilled our duty. Interesting. I believed that letter when I was a kid. I hoped for the day that they would return. But they never kept their promise. Or they have never fulfilled their duty. My parents were cowardly liars. When I realized that, I decided to always keep my promises and to never lie. Well, that's good. Maybe. Or bad. I don't know. <laughs> So that is the reason you are so stubborn about keeping your promises. Parents who abandon their children. I wonder if they intended to abandon him. They could have. My stomach is making all sorts of weird noises, folks. I apologize. I don't feel bad. It's just loud. What is that thing? It's a giant chicken monster of doom! Or a cockatrice. Yeah, that's, that's kind of what I... My goodness, stomach. Hush. That's what I thought it was. I'm sorry, guys. I do apologize. It It is its own uh, entity. It tends to do its own thing all the time. All right, what level are these things? Level 11. We're probably going to struggle a bit with this, especially with our new scrubby dub dubs. But we might be able to do okay. All right, so what I think we should do to start is just punch this dude right in the mouth. Be like, what's up? Boom, mouth punch. And then he's wrecked. But, is his name Cornhorse? It is. Um, uh, we could do a few things still, I suppose. Ah, uh, triple strike's probably fine, right? Let's see. Goblin Claw. You don't really have a weapon. You do. Do we gotta get too close enough to actually utilize that weapon? Which could and probably is going to be quite difficile. Let's go ahead and execute the attack. Do we end him or do we not? We do definitely end him with that. Okay. Alright, we need to take a, a pot shot or two at him. Let's get uh, our gal out here, Rosalind. 
And I'm pretty sure she can fire from here and do some significant damage. How much damage was that? 53, not as tremendous or significant as I was hoping. Alright, we'll move here and the attack should be real. And I think that's actually really decent. It kind of is. Alright, let's go ahead and get Syringe back out. Oh, hold on. Let's get Syringe out here. Let's get... Who was it again? I apologize. It wasn't... Yeah, it was Frostbite. Okay. We get Frostbite out. We'll go ahead and pick Frostbite up and chuck Frostbite. And we'll move over here and we're going to go for an attack. Which could end up with us being dead. Let's see. Oh, we did four damage. Here comes the death. Yep. We tried. We tried. There was a better than not chance we were going to get it. I mean, we have the plus 50% attack damage bonus here. We have a weapon that's just recently handed down from Adele. There was a pretty good chance that that was going to work out. But, it didn't. So, you know, that whole scenario. Alright, let's move here. Let's go ahead and get... Uh, yeah, let's get Meese and see if we can't throw Meese within range. Throw Meese up there. Get Meese over here. Here, go ahead and get some special fire, and it's gonna be perfect. Execute, boom and boom. Not enough to finish off the fellow in the back, but close. It was close. Oh, patches, you can still do something. I'm curious. What do you have? I'm sure you have something. You have geo. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. okay. I remember those. I remember those skills that you have. Now we have Harry Tom and Lady Overkill. Um, that's not really a good spot for you. Harry Tom, why don't we move you back one? I feel like that's just not going to work. Maybe if we move you over here? And then we get Lady Overkill to move... Be next to you? I, I still don't think this is going to work. Oops. Uh, let's see here. If we lift you and we throw you, can we throw you far? Oh, we totally can. Okay, maybe it will work. Oh, we have Hurricane Slash unlocked. Alright, here we go. Single target high damage skill. Let's hope it works. Much quicker than the first game. 39 and then a 60 follow up. What? Get wrecked. Do we have any more units? We do. We have one more person we can bring out. I think it's probably going to be... It's a tough call, really. I mean, both of them are, like, god-awful. We'll go with the Magic Knight, I guess. In hopes that they don't just instantaneously die. Ouch. Well, that didn't look good. I don't think I want to fight those guys. Alrighty, let's go take a look. So if Adele can wreck you, which should happen. Oh, we already got Lion's Roar too, which is pretty neat. I'm curious about Tiger Charge. I haven't got to use that skill yet. How far away do I have to be for it? Uh, I need to basically be where she's at right now. And it moves me back? No, it doesn't. It doesn't move me back. At oh, that's disappointing. Alright. Well, I'll attack from here. Probably not going to do a tremendous amount of damage, but probably a decent... Oh, you can counter from range. Impressive. I like that. I like that a lot. Can we get Syringe up here and have her... She can't swap because she doesn't have anything. Alright, well, we'll still move her up. I think we can still maybe cast. I don't know if we can cast far enough away. No, we can't. Alright, so we're not going to do anything with her off the top. How far can we cast with you, sir? Oh, perfect. You are resistant to fire, so not really the play, buddy. It's a good try, though. It was a good try. Alright. Hmm... 
Well, I mean, we're gonna just own the fool, right? Like, he's gonna die? No, he's not gonna die. Well, that's super disappointing. Like, really, dude? Hmm. Well, um, what if we lift me. Harry and we throw him up over here, and then we move over here, and we throw her again. Can't clear him. Which means we're going to have to do something to clear him out of the way. Which could be a small series of problems for us. Let's go ahead and lift... No, let's go ahead and lift you. Please stop doing that. Let's go ahead and lift you. Throw you over there. And you can't attack because... Oh no, I done screwed up. No! Well, I sort of... Yeah, we can still do an attack. A rat tat 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 dead. Alright, so we got him. Man, we did a lot of damage. Alright, so there's one less problem that we have to deal with now. We can throw you over there. Move you here, I guess. Hold on, let's see here. Yeah, move you there, have you do the blade rush attack. And you did a pretty sizable chunk of damage. I mean, I'm mildly impressed by all of that. We'll head up over here, and we will move ourselves a bit closer. Lift and throw, and throw and lift, and it's going to be fine. All right, let's end the turn, and let's see what the fallout is going to be. The orc combo. Mild, you know, minor inconvenience, mild annoyance, mildly agitating, I guess, at best. It's probably fine. Alright, she's got no more mana for specialty attacks, so we're going to go and try to finish it that way, and it worked phenomenally well, by the way. Get out of the way over here. I believe we could probably cast a... Well, we could probably hit him with this. Boom! 30 damage, that's it. That was pretty darn weak. He is vulnerable to fire, so if we can get ourselves within range of a said individual, it will probably be pretty good. Uh, can we cast from here? Yes, we can. All right. Let's go ahead and say good day to you, sir. Enjoy your level ups, man. You're catching back up. You were definitely the bottom of the barrel for a while there. It's nice to see you starting to come back into your own. All right, gonna move up a bit more. Probably going to continue the trend. Guess we'll go there and get you to move over here. And let's end our turn. Or are anybody else gonna come charging our way? Nope, it's gonna keep doing domination. Buffing those guys up more and more. I hope it doesn't like last the entire time. Oh, I thought he said I had like 1300 health. I was like, wait a minute. That's a little bit outside my range of uh, things I'm comfortable murdering with. Alright. Let's get the fire guy up a bit closer. Get the healer in closer. Special heal this. Target's out of range. That's not surprising. We're going to move up here. Since she doesn't have a staff, it is actually out of range, which is bad. And using the heal in general when you don't have a staff, also, I think it's kind of pointless. I mean, maybe I'm wrong, but I feel like it's a little pointless. Okay, and I guess our pathetically lame knight is going to follow up on the backside. Now, the good news is if I do survive this, there's a pretty good chance we get some bonuses out of the whole ordeal. And if that is indeed the case, we're going to be feeling really, really good about ourselves. Let's go ahead and defend ourselves once more. Hold on. There it is. We'll face the way we're supposed to face, and we are good to go. Do the cockatrices come to play? Well, Blade Rush comes to play. It's probably not going to feel too good for you in a minute, buddy. Uh-oh, Stone Breath. Did not hurt us too bad and didn't turn us to stone, or so it seems. 
So that's good. That is what the cockatrices are known for, by the way. Turning their foes, their prey, to stone. We do have something wrong with us, though. What is our status right now? Does it tell us? What's wrong with us? No? Well, I can try burst you, and I think I will do that. One, two, and three. And down you go. You are no more, sir. Go over here. I'm going to double down on boulder crushing. One and two. And you're probably going to survive it. You did. Which is fine. I'm going to attack Ivar, or Ivar as it were. Taking him down. There was no fortunate luck for us there. Unfortunately. Well, what do I mean by that? I was hoping to get the uh, bonus thing that we're supposed to get. The treasure loot, as it were. But, no such luck. Alright, we'll scoot on forward again. We'll go out with another heal here. Only this time... There we go. Sorry, we gotta do it the other way. There we go. Forgive me! Forgive me for healing you? I'm not sure why we're asking for forgiveness. It seems a little bit odd. It seems a little, a little bit odd. Nope, can't do anything with you. Well... This will end the turn again. Slowly mosey our way on to victory here, eventually. How dare you, fool! Well, I think I can finally check out the, uh... The tiger charge. I haven't been able to do that yet, so let's see what that does. Well, that's weird. So we just really confused him, and then killed him immediately, because we're awesome like that. Because that's how we freaking roll. You knows it. Oh, we can't move with you. Oh, well, that's interesting. Alright, that's fine. How, uh, what are you? You are vulnerable to Flames of Doom. So I think we're going to do some Flames of Doom in a moment. Not quite yet. Come on, give me my cursor. There we go. I think I can hit you with a poison? No. Concussiveness? What does that do? Uh, steel... Consciousness sleep. Weird. Weird. Alright, we're gonna attack a Bandero. Then I think we're gonna move here and attack Bandero as well. And then we'll execute. Not bad. Not too bad. Probably move here. He's got, what, 65 health? I don't think I'll kill him in one swing, but we might. Nope, 87. Yeah. I don't know. It's hard to judge exactly how strong she is. She's kind of advancing rapidly. Like, it's kind of a shock. It's kind of a big deal situation. Alright, let's go ahead and lift Kashiro and throw Kashiro over Rosalind, I guess. And can we move our thief that is hiding up on the high ground? We totally can. And we shall do so. And we'll end our turn. Three enemies remain. It looks like the... Oh, they're going to come to play with us. Oh, but you done missed. And your orc combo, not going to be enough to take us out. So, yeah, here's a counterattack for you. Counter, counter? No? We gave it a shot. We tried. Uh, resistant... Resistant, okay. So resistant on both fronts. I'm just gonna punch you, because I feel like it's the right thing to do. Oh! I may have been wrong. That was a lot of damage. That was a whole heck of a lot of damage, and I'm actually slightly concerned now. That I may have just gotten Adele killed, and I'd rather not have that be the thing that happens. So, what we're going to use is Boulder Crush to pathetically own your face and get us out of hot water. That being said, we have our Thief who is ready to do some work. We also have our Healer who is equally ready to do some work. And Rosalind who's ready to do more work than anyone else. I believe... No, nope, you are not within range. Let's go ahead and lift you and throw you. 
I guess that's fine. We'll attack from here. 31 points of damage. That leaves you with 18 to go. It's like Izul is going to go and do some work. Except, uh, you know, the, the part where you're being dumb. Please don't be dumb. Attack Alyssa. Get this over with. And victory is ours. Yeah, so we lost, uh, you know, we lost one. We got a couple steam guns and a longbow. And, yeah, not really anything that we needed. But we were there. We got some stuff. Adele, about your real parents. Do you think it is possible that they were unable to return because of my father's curse? Maybe. Ah, yes. Perhaps the curse stole their memories and conscience, too, huh? They abandoned me just before Zenon's curse spread throughout the world. They abandoned me because their duty was more important to them than I was. It doesn't matter if it was the curse's fault that they haven't returned. They chose to leave. A duty that is more important than their child. What could that be? Ending the curse I don't know. before it started. Mom and Dad don't seem to remember what it was either. Look, can we just stop talking about this? We should concentrate on finding Taro and Hanako. Let's find Taro and Hanako, man. What are we taking so much time for? Alright, let's go ahead and throw out some heals because, you know, we kind of need that. And we have a, ooh, we have a prize to claim. Come on, there it is. Chicken blood! Eh. Hmm. Not really the kind of prize I was hoping to claim. Um, do we get any cool new items? We got the steam gun. I mean, eh. It's kind of awful, so we're going to go and sell it, I guess. So let's go and sell it. Steam gun, steam gun, longbow. We need a couple of staves, if at all possible. So, can, contains the name of every dead soul. So what's different about these than the others? This has int. The others have hit and attack. Interesting. Alright, I'm going to buy one of these. Then I'm... Probably should buy the slime juice too, but I'm not going to. Um, wow, these are pretty expensive. Um, I guess we'll get a couple of cardinal staves, or staves as it were. And that leaves us with very little money left over, but that's okay, I think. I think everybody's going to have stuff at this point. So patches will definitely have a weapon. Give you the resistance, I guess. Um, actually, let's give you the one that has less, because the healer is the other one that uses the stat. It's, it's fine. Uh, you're okay, you're okay. You needed a weapon. Let's give you the dead. Seems legit. Um, you have a weapon. Everybody else has some stuff as well. It's, it's okay. They're all level one. Could stand to use, uh, some leveling up, like, maybe in, like, easier areas, but for now, we'll just stick with this. I know we're about out of time, in fact, we're probably a little bit over time, but I'd like to see if I couldn't find maybe some cheap uh, equipment just to throw on our boys here. Cheaper than a buckler. I want something that doesn't actually have any negative effects, but it looks like the buckler is the cheapest thing that's showing up. Yeah, see, it's the same thing over, over and over and over again. It's because of the more expensive items. I know. I know. Alright, well that's fine, ladies and gentlemen. Anyway, that's going to do it for this episode. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you tomorrow with more Disgaea 2 PC. Until then, my name's Bumpy McSquiggums. Thank you for stopping by the Freak Show, and I will see you later.